There's a dream I keep having from time to time. The dream keeps showing me that I wrote a book and that I chose to forget that I wrote this book. That I wrote this book in a house that I do not remember, in a delirium whose swoon causes me anxiety to recall, and that I tried to destroy this book so that I could maintain my own facade and fiction of a civilized and acceptable person in an ordered society. The book was obsessive in tone, psychotic in structure, 317 pages of heated, dangerous erotica whose cumulative effect was more addictive than crystal, crack, or heroin. No one would have been able to put the book down once they opened it, and nothing else would matter to them once they had read it. The book would have destroyed the world as we know it. The book would have also destroyed the narrative of me, even as I was used to write this book by this dream. The aim of the book was the destruction of all pain through the appeal of pleasure, that is, the destruction of narrative, for all narrative is a lie. The dream also tells me that I hid this book in an old house that I am sure I never lived in, except in the dream. I now know that if I did write this book, that I did not destroy it. And even though the recurring dream keeps showing me more things about the book, the dream has told me that it tells me all of this very slowly, so that my memory of my fear of what was happening to my mind when I wrote this book will not overwhelm and prematurely shatter me, because the dream needs me to find the book. But I know that if I find the book, the narrative of myself that I hold dear will end, because the book ends all narrative. The book ends you. The book ends the church. The book ends the government. The book ends every image. The book ends every thought of lack. The book ends every thing. The book itself disappears in the smoke of its own orgasm after all of this ending has been accomplished. I suspect the dream is boring a hole into my mind night after night and trying to trick me with intrigue into writing this shameless book because the world as we know it and its dream of things that we cherish run on guilt and when guilt is gone the world will vanish. Coming soon from vanguard composer-performer Sylvanus Slaughter, seven volumes of seductive symphonic jazz abstraction. Featuring Big Bright Life, Take Me Back to Cafe Triati, Twilight Time, Glad to See You, Night of the Shooting Stars, Mishima My Love, and many others. The must be fed every day, and we're trying so hard to connect, and our empty, expensive new ways, so here's my heart for you. Have another cup of coffee, I don't mind if I do.